get rid of chain migration. And we've wanted to do that for a long time. And I've been wanting to do it for a long time. And we'll be asking Congress to start working on it immediately. There are bills already about ending chain migration. And uh, we have a lot of good bills in there. We're being stopped by Democrats because they're obstructionists. And honestly, they don't want to do what's right for our country. We need strength. We need resolve. We have to stop it. So we're going to get rid of this lottery program as soon as possible. He came in through the diversity program, as you know. And uh, we're going to stop that. We're going to, as quickly as possible, get rid of chain migration and go to a merit-based system. Terrorists are constantly seeking to strike our nation and it will require the unflinching devotion to our law enforcement, homeland security and intelligence professionals to keep America safe. We will take all necessary steps to protect our people and our communities and to protect our nation as a whole. We have to get much tougher, we have to get much smarter, and we have to get much less politically correct. We're so politically correct that we're afraid to do anything. And that's not only our country, that's other countries too that are having very similar problems. And we have to get tough, we have to get smart, we have to do what's right to protect our citizens. We will never waver in the defense of our beloved country, ever. And we'll never, ever forget the beautiful lives that have been taken from us. That was a horrible event, and we have to stop it, and we have to stop it cold. We also have to come up with punishment that's far quicker and far greater than the punishment these animals are getting right now. They'll go through court for years. At the end, there'll be who knows what happens. We need quick justice, and we need strong justice, much quicker and much stronger than we have right now. Because what we have right now is a joke, and it's a laughing stock. And no wonder so much of this stuff takes place. And I think I can speak for plenty of other countries, too, that are in the same situation. So, with that being said, we will be starting our cabinet meeting today. It will be a discussion that will focus on vital issues of tax cuts and tax reform. It will be the largest tax cut.